Hello guys, GX33 here, and uh, recently I uploaded a video with a color-based track, which does not use pitch map for the sound, and I promised that uh, if the video gets 10 likes, that I'll make a video on how to make the, the, the preset in Vital. Vital is really nice, you know, it's, it's free, it's easy to use, I'll give it context on how it sounds. Okay, and here's the sound itself without anything else. Okay. And uh, now let's get to making it. So let's start making this uh, preset. Don't mind this video being recorded fucking few days later, you know, get your vital out. And uh, here we have this initialized preset bullshit, you know, put the BPM up a bit, maybe, yeah, like 150. And uh, you wanna write some chords, specifically in uh, the 6 area, you know what I mean? And then you just want this shit repeating, you know? Let's make this preset. So, you have the oscillator 1. For oscillator 1, you want a different wavetable, not a fucking... In it, so you want uh, you wanna go to glow glunk, use the crappy toilet wavetable, and now comes uh, the most crucial part. Okay, so a really crucial part of this is the macro. This knob right here that you can play with. You wanna connect macro one to the wavetable position over here, but uh, don't have it too much. All right, and then also wanna put oscillator down. Yeah. Put the transpose down by 12 semitones, you know, one octave. And now another important part, you want the filter, you can keep it where it is. But put macro 1 to the cutoff, so that's connected, like this. Put some unison on oscillator 1 as well, like 10 voices, but put the detune down a bit, not 20%. 20% is way too much for this. And then put a formant filter and connect macro 1 to this thing on the side, formant Y, you know. And have it, yeah, just play around with it, put it to your likings. But you disable oscillator 2 on here and just click fill 1 over here. It's really simple. Now you want to add oscillator 2 and you just want a saw wave. So this is enough. Put some units in as well though. Then you need to automate macro 1. So in FL Studio's case, if you're using FL Studio, you can do this by... Because, you know, normally you right-click on a knob and then you have the option to create automation clip. In Vital, it's not the case, so you have to adjust the knob, then click on Tools over here, go to Last Tweaked, click on Create Automation Clip, and there you go. And then you wanna just create this kind of stuff. Put the level of oscillator 1 way higher, okay. And now, this is also important, you want a delay, and put the tempo to 1 64th, it has to be a really fast delay. Okay. Then you want to put an equalizer, and just boost the high end. There we go. Now it's starting to sound like original preset I made. You would just want to, as well, just play around with this form and filter. Route this to another insert in FL Studio or whatever, in case you cannot do that in your DAW that you're using, maybe it's not FL Studio, then clone that track and put a vocoder on it, that's what we're gonna do. In this case we'll use vocodex on this uh, second insert, play around with it as well. I'm just gonna put 100 bands and, and then what you gotta do is uh, automate this. The modulator pitch shift, so right click Click on create automation clip. You wanna have like a maximum to minimum motion, like this top automation here. Sounds much more like a color base though. So this is basically it. So here's the preset without automation. Gonna make an, an example full song to show you how it sounds. And uh, there we go, I made an example song, like a really short, so you can see this being used. So uh, you gotta also play around with the wavetable position. You can customize this to how you like. Okay. 
Maybe try different wavetables for this. This one also sounds really good if you use three graces. Yeah, that's uh, kinda it. So, thank you very much for watching. And if you want more content like this, consider liking and subscribing. Thank you. Peace.